I am against animal cruelty. You know the case. I don't think animal cruelty should be a thing at all. Just moments ago, you don't said you're you against the cruelty of animals and you feel I'm bad when you do it, it. but I now am. you're justifying it. Unfortunately, that's just how life is. When the Cold War was happening, who do we eat? Humans. I'm just going to ask you some questions. Okay. And hopefully to get, get, get you to think more. You want to try it? The clever one. You're the clever one. No, no. I'm the younger one. I feel my mouth. It's okay. Let's see. Let's say I have. I want to do something. Let's. Um, I'll pose it like this. I want to do something that affects a person. I want to take them to my house. Let's say I want to take this person to my house. Okay. Okay. How important is consent? It's very important. Yeah. I mean. Yeah. It's important that they consent to it, right? Yes. Can I ask why? I mean, we consider kidnapping if they're going there without, you know, their own consent. And why is that bad? Kidnapping? <laughs> yeah, why is kidnapping bad? Well, you're taking a person against their own will to a location that they don't feel comfortable with going to. So yeah. it's bad in the sense of like just social norms. Okay. Is it, is it just because it's a social norm that it's bad, that it's bad or is it bad because, I don't know, it's it, empathetically we feel like we don't we wouldn't want that to happen to us and we say it's bad well yeah i feel like it's both it's not a, it's not socially normal to take someone to a place that they don't consent to or anything that would go against their own like um personal boundaries and i mean it is also like how would you i guess feel if someone just went oh let's go to this place you no, no option for you okay okay what if this person was passed out and can't remember <laughs> bear with me, bear with me, it goes somewhere. If it's for their safety, you know. It's not for their safety. If it's not for their safety and they're unconscious, then I don't think you should do anything to them. We still need consent. Yes. Okay. If a person, I mean, if a person's unconscious on the street, then you know it's for their safety. But if they're passed out in their own house, however, or in their friend's house, and you want to take them back to your house, then you will need their consent. Okay. What if this person was mentally challenged or not intelligent enough to consent or cannot understand the concept of consent? Are you a person to consent for them? Say that again. Are you a person to consent for them? No. Then no. No. Then I no. would not So say still it. consent matters? Yes. Okay. What if this person looked different? They were maybe have a different skin color, maybe had a lot of hair on their body. I don't know. I don't think that should matter with any situation, okay. whether a person looks different or not. So we've established that it doesn't matter how the person looks like, what state they're in, or if they can give consent or not. We should always get consent. You should always get consent. Um, it always depends on the situation, of course, as well. Because yeah. As I mentioned, if a person is passed out, you know, and they're in an unsafe location. Yeah, yeah. If you're trying to save yes. them, it's a different case yes, scenario, let's say, scenario. and they can't save yes. themselves. But okay, what if we really want to do it? What do you mean we? Oh, I'm oh, sorry. What if I really want to do it? Yeah, I, That's I your know. personal issue, I guess. Yeah, okay. I would still need consent, right? Yes, yes. Okay. What if it benefits me or gives me Does pleasure it benefit them? Does it matter? Yes. If they haven't consent. They haven't even. consented, right? I mean, what benefit would they get? I don't know. Maybe they would get some benefit, but does it matter? Because I, I, would, I would still not... It, it would still not, like it they would get definitely get some benefit the benefit that i would assume they they want right because they haven't consented to it so i would assume but when they not have when they haven't consent there's no benefit for them so consent does still matter okay so consent still matters okay what if everybody's doing it what if everybody's just taking a person back to their house against their will again i mean <laughs> you know you as a person, you as a you know grown person should be telling those people, hey, this is not right. This is, you know, technically kidnapping, you know, possible maybe if there's any kind of sexual going on, that's at that point. So So we still need consent. Yes, you still need consent and you should give awareness to other people being like that's not right. That's not Okay. What if it were legal? Still, I mean still, still. it doesn't change. We still need consent, right? Yes, of course. What if it were uh, normal in society to do so? I mean, society would work quite very much differently. I mean, even looking at the past, you know, consent wasn't much of a thing. Women didn't have an option of who they were going to marry and such, even in some cultures to this day. So that's really up to society. But we still need consent nowadays, right? Consent yes. still it is important in yes. this situation. Okay. And what if uh, it's tradition to do so? What if we've been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years? 
Well, that becomes a social norm at that point. Yeah, so it's also a social norm that we've been doing for... Yes, so at that point, consent wouldn't be even a matter of into that situation, perhaps. Maybe consent would be in a different situation or such. But consent would still matter. Yes, but, you know, of course consent would matter, but at that point, if we're living as a society in that way, and everyone specifically is used to it that way, then I think a revolution would probably happen at some point of being like... Or it should happen, or it needs to happen, right? Yes, yes. Okay, so... We've established that no matter what the person looks like, no matter if they can give consent or not, no matter what the situation is, consent matters. And if we want to do something onto a person, consent should matter, right? Yes. Okay. And what about, and this is, I'm not trying to catch up on this. I also used to participate in this. What about the animals we sent into the slaughterhouse? It is a very different topic. <laughs> it is it is a hard topic to get into. Um, I am against animal cruelty. I um I hate to see it a lot. So it is hard for animals to consent to stuff as well. There's body expressions. I have three cats, you know. Yeah. My cat starts meowing or wagging its tail. That's when I know, okay, I'm going to get scratched. So it is really up to, you know, the case. I don't think animal cruelty should be a thing at all. So it's important that we try not to send these animals to slaughterhouses because they can consent to it, right? I would say it's it's one of the reasons, right? Because it does, does it matter if if the slaughterhouse is this place where they get massaged or they, I don't know, they whatever get what we think is good for them? It doesn't really matter, right? Because they still haven't consented to it. That's why I, when I gave it as an example, I said, take the person back to my house. It doesn't mean I do something wrong to this person. It doesn't mean I yeah. do something. I just do it against their will, right? Yeah. They haven't consented to it. Ah. So in that sense, <laughs> it's important. The same is important to animals, right? Yes. Just because we decide to farm them, we treat them nicely, whatever we do, but at the end we slaughter them against their will, yeah. doesn't mean we get to do this, right? It still makes it is, sense. It is hard to get consent out of animals, of course. We, yeah. we cannot understand animals other than body expressions. If we're looking at, you know, like, oh, how is a cow going to express, you know, emotions and such? Um, you know, I feel like... There is benefits to me that some people can get, of course, you know, there's medical reasons and such. Um, If you're a person that doesn't eat meat, I should totally, like, you know, you should totally not not eat meat. I have a bit of, like, an iron deficiency issue, so sometimes I need to have a bit of, like, red meat to get that iron back, so, you know. But it does make me feel guilty because sometimes I do eat meat and I'm like, oh. Can you supplement it? Yeah. Yes, I have. I have. I've been... So you don't need to eat meat, you can supplement. You can supplement it, yes, you can. Um, It is, again, up to a person. I don't think, I don't, I wouldn't ever force a person to go vegan if I was. I've been pescatarian and, you know, I asked my mom to, like, you know, oh, can we make, uh, like, it's like this fake meat, you know, I think, what was it made of? Like soy? Yeah. It was out of soy. But I never said to my mom, oh, you should also not eat meat because I'm not eating it, you know? Interrupting Chip here. The reason why vegan people tell people not to eat meat is not because they don't do it themselves, but rather because animals are exploited, abused and slaughtered for the production of meat. It's an animal rights movement, not a diet. Um, Why why are you a pescatarian? Sorry? I'm sorry to interrupt you there. Why are you a pescatarian? I'm a big fan of fish. (laughs) You're a big fan of fish? I am a big fan of fish. But why don't you eat the rest of the animals? For me, at first, it was more of a, like, health benefit. But once I started, like, really getting into it, you know, um, it is it is cruel what they do to animals, you know, seeing those yeah. videos and such. You wouldn't want to have, you want that, you don't want that to happen to a person. Exactly. You know, hearing those cannibal stories and stuff. It's, it's creepy. It is kind of, you know, I, as I mentioned, I do sometimes get this feeling of, like, when I eat meat, especially, like, red meat, I'm like, oh, I can, like, taste it. <laughs> it's so weird. Yeah. I mean, you say you have cats, right? Yes. And what is it that cats have? Because I would assume you would never send a cat to a slaughterhouse. Yeah. What is it that a cat has that a cow doesn't that makes it okay to do this to cat yeah. to cows? It's, and it's because cows. they're considered like animal, like cows pets. That's why. But I mean, there's so many people that have like, you know, cows and a lot of stuff. Not maybe as house pets, but you know, farm pets. But we assigned this label to them, right? Yeah. They yeah. didn't. It's not like they are consenting to having this label in any form. Or but then also, if you were to let free of those cows, it 
still get eaten by other animals. You know, it's the hierarchy. Of not necessarily, right? First of all, not necessarily. It's not like it's running wild. There's full. Of, it's full of predators nowadays. But uh, the whole point about it is to not breed them into existence in the first place. To not bring them into an existence where they would be bred for the sole purpose of dying whenever we choose for them to die, or for us to exploit them just because we fancy whatever they. Uh, they, they, they give us right but we still like need you know cows chickens and such i'm not sure about like pigs what they bring but you know with eggs and stuff do you think we need animal products too yes for health yes need yes would you be surprised why don't we don't well you know in this age and time there's definitely like possible you know fake meats and such but i do think believe that we still as human naturally need milk and eggs yes that white well, there's several things to be said. We don't need them, right? There's a, the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, which is the largest association of nutritionists in the world. It's got like a thousand members. Uh, it's in no way vegan or vegetarian. And they say that the vegan diet is suitable for all ages and stages of life, including infancy, pregnancy, athletes, doesn't yeah. matter. It's, it's suitable, a well-planned vegan diet. Okay. So that means it's, you can be a vegan regardless of what stage you're in life. Okay, let's say... What about mothers that breastfeed their children? Yeah. What about that milk? Is there much of a difference between that and cow milk as well? Is there consent there? Well, yes. So then it, it's, it's okay. But also, you know, cows need to lactate. They can't have that milk stuck in I there. assume you don't know. I know saying this means tells me that you don't know about the dairy industry, what's happening in the dairy industry. I know that the issue, but there is also natural milk that you can get. Like, so what is it? From. Why do cows produce milk? They can produce it for their children as well. For the children only. It's their mammals. They produce milk for their children. Yes, but I mean, like, there is also cases of, you know, mothers, when they breastfeed, they sometimes have too much milk yeah. that they can use in other situations. But so. what happens in the dairy industry is because cows produce milk for their children, they get forcefully impregnated year over year mm -hmm. so that they can produce milk. Once the baby is born, they take away the baby. If the baby is a female, they, go to, they get put into the cycle year over year, just like their mother. Yeah. If they're male, they go to the slaughterhouse, they're killed, right? Okay. So, in itself, it's cruel, mentioning mothers and babies, it's cruel that we decide, because we say we, we think we need the milk, which we don't, we absolutely, like milk isn't even something that we as humans have, we have developed to <laughs> the, uh, the capability to, to digest re only recently, but we weren't even digesting it for thousands of years, like milk. Uh, that's why there's so many people that are lactose intolerant, because they don't have the capability to digest milk. But for us, to, because it benefits us, we say, oh, well, we prefer it this way. And wouldn't you say it's cruel to choose to, to do all of these to cows against their will? Because I... None of them, all of them run after their babies. None of them ever want their babies taken from them. Uh, all of them, they feel emotions afterwards. They feel sad. So it's really like, what is it that, what is it that, that is so different to cows that if we did this to humans, it would be worse. It would be horrible, actually. Mm -hmm. All of it, like even forceful impregnation, it's, it's basically rape. Yeah. But for humans, we say, oh, hell no, we're not even touching it. But for these animals, it's somehow okay. Like, what is it that we have that they don't that says it's okay for to do this to them? I mean, at that point, it's just the hierarchy of, you know, being a human. Yeah. You know, it's a animal, you know, uh, thingy. What's it called? Just that like triangle of life and itself, you know, we yeah. have always as human uh, established a hierarchy like of any animals, even animals themselves have a hierarchy, you know, mammals, you know, and all that but stuff. We created this one, right? So if we create a hierarchy based on animals, we can easily at some point in our history, even we created a hierarchy based on people's colors, right? We were yeah. saying that some humans were inferior, therefore we could justify doing this to them. Aren't we doing the same thing to animals? We're saying they're inferior, therefore we can do this to them? No, it should, I mean, yeah, it shouldn't be like that where we put, you know, stuff like that. But I mean, again, my opinion is there is definitely health benefits. I, as cruel as it is, sometimes human thinks about themselves a little bit too much. So then I bring it back to the consent area, right? Because yeah. I said, if it benefits me, do you think it makes it okay? And you said, no, it doesn't make it okay, right? So why would no, it make, why did it be different in this case? 
Because you're on the same level as a human in a hierarchy and you're not on the same level as a cow in a hierarchy. What is it, like a level of intelligence, you mean? What is it that, uh, again, what is it that the in human general, has? In general life, can a cow discover human life? Can a cow discover, you know, um, history and such? But can you know, all that's... humans do that? Because there's humans yes. who, have, uh, who are mentally challenged enough that you cannot possibly communicate. But they have easily. their own creativity. So yes. Maybe cows do that too, right? We, we have no way of knowing. They, we, there's, there's plenty of videos of what cows. What kind of experiment is, is that? Guess a vegan. Try? Yeah, it's a vegan yeah, experiment. It's, it's vegan. more Guess to discuss people to, to get... Uh, it is I don't know, change the world right now because it's, it is as it is. And it's like... To change the world, you will need a bit more than a social experiment. Yeah, you know? to change the world, of course, it comes with each individual upside, right? And yeah. The, but like, you're trying to teach us or trying yeah, to... Yeah, trying to teach you, but uh, you see... So it's not the experiment. If you're trying to it's teach us, yeah. it's exactly... It's, I thought that we were helping you, but basically you're trying to convince us that we should change ourselves, not as a whole world, but it's just one person trying to convince one person. Yeah, and Even I do this do with like each individual this person. This kind yes. of experiment, you should, you should try to be loud right now, not standing here with a card. And trying and to convince to exactly. To we, I, I do sometimes that also, but I, I do several things, right? If there's no empirical evidence showing which method works better than others, so then why choose to? I choose to speak How to people individually. How many people individual. uh, stopped and uh, had today? chat to today? Had chat with you. Seven people. And how many of them? And it's, do you it's think like three o'clock already. And exactly. Five of them were pretty positive about it. Positive five of them. just with you because and, uh, after five steps away, probably they went to have the cheeseburger. Or listen, listen. I do my best to try and educate people. Of course, I cannot hold. I cannot hold people accountable more than what I have the, these discussions right here with them. Right? Mm -hmm. I cannot go and police people and say, "Hey, no, don't eat that or whatever." Yeah, well, what, my, my purpose is try to try inform that. people. Right? If you're trying to convince people that the cows and all the animals, they have, I don't know, life. Yeah. 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 Life. Yeah. You should go to the pubs where they're eating, where the people are eating burgers and sausages and all the stuff and try to convince them, don't eat that. The cow had has life, That's had life, had yeah. used to. But I appreciate I appreciate your feedback, right? Like it's a, I understand that you maybe have a, an idea of a better way of doing activism, and no, it's, it's okay. Not a better it's, way. Or a different I way, have but idea. You should try to be more. Uh, what is the word? Um, so I have but, but, but bringing it back to the animals because that's the, that's the whole point why I'm sitting here. These animals don't have a voice. They can't speak for themselves, right? They need people like me yeah, to sit and to, talk to them, to, to other people individually. Unfortunately, unfortunately, a, unfortunately no. a systemic change cannot happen at this point in time because I understand that you mean we need a systemic change, but a systemic change cannot happen because there's too few people. All of these industries work based on supply and demand. If more people demand it, we cannot say from the government, cannot say all of a sudden, oh, meat is no longer allowed because it hurts the animals. Most people wouldn't even understand and wouldn't care because we created a society that is it, it's built around this. Yes, but all of you these, see, all of these, that. all of these, they change with each individuals one by one because like any uh, societal change, any systemic change happened with each individual one by one. Right. At some point, it trickles down and more people change, but it starts with individual changes. And right now we're at a stage where it's at individual changes. And both of you are faced with individual with the option to change right now with individual changes. Funny. Right. You know, I, I still hold my opinion of being, you know, more Presbyterian and such. I'm just not a big fan of red meat itself. But even if you change my opinion, this is me as a person, it's uh, myself. I don't think I would go up to the next person and be like, hey, I just got, uh, you know, uh, someone just told me to be vegetarian, so I'm gonna be vegetarian. You should now be vegetarian. I'm a person who truly does not care about what a person does. So you believe we shouldn't be talking about social issues? Is that what you're saying? No. Okay, no, so no, that's no, where I'm going. I'm that. talking no. about social issues right now, right? Yes, so but one of the social issues is that these animals go through it. And you say you're a pescatarian. Fish actually feel a lot of pain because as yeah, opposed to all of these animals... The flowers, the flowers will grow, if you will say, it's nice alive. But plants to, are not no. sentient. Plants are not sentient. But if, they have some kind of thing tree, well. tree, Okay, let me tell you this. Yeah. This is proven scientifically. When a tree is dying, a tree next to it will connect its roots to itself and make yeah. it alive. Okay. Does that make, you know, when a tree is, when that tree is dying and it's becoming a real issue to the ecosystem, it's okay to cut it down. 
even if it's alive. I, I don't know what to tell you about this. I don't know, maybe because it's not sentient, right? It's it's it, it 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 boils down to this. But let's say let's say even if you think plants are sentient, whatever, there's scientific consensus that plants are not sentient. It means they don't feel pain, they don't have emotions, they don't feel happiness or pain. But let's say even if you believe that they do, right? Let's say for some magical reason you believe they do, you should still advocate for less harm in this world. And that still means being vegan, because as a vegan you still kill less plants. Because animals, the animals that they farm, they are fed plants themselves. So now, giving all of this, like animals still go to the slaughterhouse on your behalf, right? And if you say you oppose animal cruelty, wouldn't you say it's absolutely, if you oppose it, that you should try and not participate in it? I mean, cows themselves will also, like, you know, they will also not forcefully breed with each But it's other. unbelievable because just moments ago you Don't said you are against the cruelty of animals and you feel bad when you do it, it but I now am... you're justifying it. Because there's just some things that just can't happen. Well, so you're we saying it, it just can't happen that what you about... no longer participate in the cruel, uh, the cruelty, in the animal cruelty just because everybody does it, does it make it okay? I mean, you know, it's a tough argument. I can't say anything. I'm not going to force anyone to do whatever they want. I don't. I, I, don't, I, I no, can't no, no, force saying, you. Also, saying, right? No, 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 I'm not saying that. It is a very hard topic. You know, animal cruelty comes in different forms and different ways. Even in households themselves, house animals get you know abused. I agree. Yeah. Some people shouldn't have access to. But I mean, you know, if cows and chickens say oh chickens especially they reproduce themselves so fast that it's unbelievable when it comes from an organic source like an actual farm i believe that that's more you know empathetic in a way How when it's it empathetic comes... to, to to kill them as babies all these chickens no, are killed at, no. but all of the all of these that's, animals that's are killed as babies so I, I no even in farms should... even in regular farms no, it's standard practice often. Not as often, though. Yes, it does happen. Everything will happen. But it, not it does happen. It's ninety nine percent of the chance. Like there's, there's, it's it's harder. It's so harder to do, find the situation. It's, it's harder to find a situation where you think that you're going to eat an animal that lived to old age. It's harder to find that than but, to be okay, vegan. But then if we can't use their milk, we can't use their eggs. Yeah. What do we do with those animals? But if if somebody can't use you, what do we do with, what do we do with you? Is that a fair enough justification? But They're just beings I, I that exist. In this life. What do they have? What is your reason? In life? I have a reason to make a difference. What My is purpose is to make a difference. Your reason is to make a difference, and you're trying to. Well, but what are those? But I chose this one. You see, I chose this one for me. You see, okay. I, just like you chose that one for yourself, right? But it's not up to me for to choose the reason for you or for anybody what else. What are these animals gonna do for our lives? Well, we first can? of all, a lot of these animals will not be bred into existence in the first place, right? A lot of these animals will not be bred because 80 billion animals are bred into existence to be slaughtered for us. Okay. 80. Wait, zero. 8 billion. 80 billion animals. It's in, it's then a huge really number for a year. Say that again. If you release them, they'll still reproduce. Some because. of them may reproduce, right? I, but what why is why it so some bad? Of them? Why? Why some? Well, first of all, first, of first of all, all of them. Okay, okay. Not why? Your your premise. Let me see if I get this right. Your premise is that if we have, if the whole world were vegan, all of these animals would be free, and it would be an issue, right? Yes. It would okay, be. it would be an issue, yes. right? If if it would happen like this overnight, it would be an issue that would win, it would need solving. No, I don't disagree. Gonna, like, but if but fast. obviously it would step. happen as a step by step, and when it happens step by step, obviously less animals are bred into existence, and at some point, yes, there will be a mass of animals that will go. I don't know. Maybe they will uh, go into uh, sanctuaries. Some of them will. Uh, I don't know. Will still can still be used for whatever. If you really want to use animals, you can uh -huh. use their poop for f as fertilizer, right? It doesn't, we can still do that. We can still do that, but why do we have to slaughter them? Why do we have to abuse them? Why do we have to exploit them? <laughs> Because it is yeah. a benefit I for think humans. That we go now. But Sorry. you see, but when, when I we asked are on you, holiday right now, yeah. and it's uh, it's uh, going nowhere. It's it basically. is a nice conversation. So, it time. Thank you so, so much. just because it benefits you, it makes it okay. Unfortunately, that's just how life is. When the Cold War was happening, who do we eat? Humans. But you don't pay for that. You pay for this. I mean, it's happening because you pay for it. You are uh, responsible for this. You know that. Yes. yes. Animals die because of you. Unfortunately, so humans die. Don't.